Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. Today we have a 2v2 quick battle for you um, with my friend Marcus Skine. Um, and we actually co-created the um, Mordheim Perma League on Steam. If you guys play Mordheim City of the Damned, um, you can, uh, I'll put the link in the description and you can check that out if you're looking for some online multiplayer games. Um, but today we are um, playing a 2v2. He is the Greenskins, I am Bretonia, and we are going up against the Empire and um, the Greenskins. So definitely an interesting matchup. And you can see he's may had the he has the front line here. Um, he's got two Black Orcs, two Biggins, um, and two Nasty Skulkers, kind of forming a his main line. Um, in the middle he has Wurzak. Behind that, nice firing, goblin firing line of Durusty Ears, Goblin Archers. He's also got a Rock Lobber and of course the Hammer of Gork. Um, I have two Royal Pegasus Knights, um, King Leonia Kerr, um, Grail Guardians protecting my uh, Lord of Life Damsel. Um, then on each flank I do have um, Knights Errant, Knights of the Realm, and one Spearman at Arms with Shields, just because the money was um, the money fit. Um, and you can see again I have that on this side as well. Um, just trying to have some extra spears I can throw in to support a cab engagement. Um, especially with this scary bit of cab over here. So we'll start with the Empire player here. He has a firing line of one handgunner and three crossbows, a main line of five swordsmen, um, two great swords hold up the back line, and Boris Toddbringer on a horse um, is his general. Um, he also does have two demigriff knights with halberds vetted up to rank two, um, so definitely a deadly squad there, um, and I believe that's it. Um, the greenskin player does have these forest goblin spider riders, some vanguarded goblin wolf riders way off in the corner. Um, two, er, and then this greenskin player has a main line of four black orcs, um, very terrifying. Um, and then a firing line with night goblin archers to rusty airs, and um, a bunch of hidden goblin units over here protecting his uh, his artillery. And he does have the same exact setup as my um, friend Marcus guy in here. Um, he does have the the greenskin line of Wurzag. Night Goblin Shaman, and then two Goblin Big Bosses. So very typical um, Greenskin build there. And we'll get this off. This started pretty quick. And um, you see, this is like a huge, like, I'm, I'm all, I almost feel like these Demigriff Knights would win just in a straight engagement with these two units, and, or with this wing, um, without the support of my heroes and my flying squad. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is pulling back we're going to be zeroing in on this greenskin player, trying to take him out as much as possible. Um, this is a great tactic to use. In um, here, we'll watch these Pegasus Knights try and catch these uh, spiders. They really are not having good luck. And um, I did not see this light wizard when I first played. I'm so used to them not bringing light wizards. Um, and look at that. Most of us were out of that circle, but it doesn't matter. So they're going to be getting shot at pretty bad. So that was a bit of a mistake from me. Um, but a great tactic here um, in 2v2s is to kind of like just swarm one player and then form a line to just delay the other player. Um, so you can see here no Pegasus Nice dropped luckily um, but did take a lot of hit point damage. Um, and you actually over here I charged in with my Knight's Errant. Did not, didn't really do too great of a damage on that black work but i um, just gonna keep trying. And Look at this snipe Oh man, just flattening a couple of those black orcs. Um, very impressive there. Um, that timing is very difficult to do. Here come my knight errants. Here come my grail guardians. And what I'm trying to do here is um, sandwich this unit of black orcs. It's kind of um, away from the main line. So you can see here, going to hold them down. Um, also, I'm going to be charging in the back with my knights of the realm. Trying to silence these guys, but I didn't notice that the knights, the warlord boys, were back here too. Um, so they are going to get punished a little bit. Um, and here come my Grail Guardians in the back. And um, some Knights Errants as well. And so just really trying to hammer this one unit, but it really doesn't take that much damage. Um, wish I had brought some, not Knights of the Realm, but um, Questing Knights would have been really good. Uh, but I was trying to go a little bit wider with my Cavalry Force. Um, you can see he is bringing these Black Orcs to re-engage. And I keep trying to pull these Grail Knights out. Um, but it just doesn't work. It like, keeps failing, they keep getting drawn back in. And so these guys are not going to perform very well in this battle because of that. Just like getting stuck in here with these black orcs is tough. Um, and here you can see my Knights of the Realm have run away. 
put some good damage in here and just disrupted their firing line. Um, but a number of my knights are trapped and um, they will be taking some damage early on. You can see I'm dropping an earth blood over here in this corner and just kind of delaying um, with this side of the map as we finish off this green skin player. You can see them just getting drawn back in and now they get trapped by Effigy of the Git, so that's definitely not what I want. Um, and here my Knights of the Realm are going to try and get in here, strike at um, some of these archers. Um, but these great swords are going to intercept a little bit. We're going to flatten a couple of them, doing some good damage, and you can see I'm just delaying on the side. I really should be pulling these um, these units over here to like push and like slaughter the side. Um, but definitely a mistake on my part. You can see I pull out these Knights of the Realm, still trying to pull out these Grail Guardians. Nasty Skulkers are going to get a nice rear charge, though. And I'm going to bring these guys in, hopefully, around here sometime. And you can see a lot of the Black Orcs are being dealt with. There's just this one pocket left, and then his ranged troops and his goblins. So um, if we can deal with those, we're decently fine. Here he misses some micro on his Force Goblin Spider Riders. I catch him with my wizard, and I'm going to put him down here. Um, with my flying goon squad. As you can see, this Empire player is having trouble re like forming his line on this side, um, especially with my Knights of the Realm in there, disrupting stuff, and definitely forgetting about these Demigriff Knights, which I will gladly have, um, be okay with. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, and you can see my cavalry still over here, my spearmen finally dying. Um, my Grail Guardians finally got out of there, but definitely very hurt. Um, and he's winning over here. We kind of thought we had wrapped this up, um, but we hadn't. And you can see this Ragnarok spider just beasting out a bunch of these guys, spawning some spiders, and my knights errants are going to come in here and try and shut down this artillery yet again, um, as it just takes out tons of goblins. Um, you can see these goblin wolf riders did manage to get into those goblin archers, which is not the best. Um, so what I'm actually going to be doing here, as Marcus Gein reforms his line, is I'm going to push my cavalry way around this side. Um, his cavalry is also, um, I believe, going to come around this way, um, and we're going to kind of have a, a fight here. You can see his sword's been so far away from the fight that they um, might not be in the best position. You can see these black orcs shatter, and the spider still around, still doing pretty good, but is going to get focus fired here soon, um, as my knights errants tr are trying to get out of here. Um, and you can see this fight, these black orcs actually won, which we did not see coming. So we kind of rearranged our armies for the final fight, um, but we were definitely premature on that one. And you can see I still have Grail Guardians running around, still got these guys. What I really need to do is run them through here and silence those. You can see now the Demigriff Knights are coming down this way, which is not good for the Spider, um, and not good for um, these Knights Errants, who are not going to do at all well against um, Demigriff Knights. But you can see my uh, Lord is going to come in here, do a ton of damage to Wurzag, and then I'm going to bring my Pegasus Knights over and back in the back to trigger that rear charge penalty and just try and clean this up once and for all, because that really needs to stop. Um, you can see the spider does um, get isolated here by those Demigriffs, and that is she is just going to get totally punished there, um, while my Knights of Knights Errant are coming around to try and strike at these um, archers. Definitely making some micro lapses here as um, the game progresses, which is not good. Um, but here we can watch this charge from my knights errant into these poor rusty heirs, who really did nothing wrong except for being greedy, horribly evil, tiny creatures. <laughs> oh man, so good. Um. So, going to be doing some nice damage to them, but of course here comes the Demigriffs, so I'm going to be trying to pull out this way as well, try and get into some of those crossbows as this main line engages. So you can see, finally cleared this up, I'm going to be pulling these guys around, um, and you can see these Demigriffs still chasing off these units here. Um, yeah, And you can see, as they're starting to open fire on this line, I'm going to get a nice charge in, disrupt all their formations here, or just I guess one of their formations. <laughs> some of those, um, which is okay, but you can see these uh, goblins getting gatted over here. Definitely a close fight. Not much left for either side. You can see the artillery is running out of ammo. This artillery is running out of ammo as well. 
Um, and they just have the green. The Empire player just has so many, inf so much infantry left. Um, it's pretty terrifying. Um, and you can see here, I do bring Leonel Kerr in, and he does get netted, which is not the best situation. But I'm not really too afraid of anything. I didn't notice these handgunners though, and they'll be doing quite a number um, as my cavalry tries to break around this side. Um, my Pegasus Knights coming in here, getting stuck, which is not good. Really need to pull them into those handgunners or into these crossbows. Um, but I'm not too worried about Leon Kerr at this point. Uh, that's, of course, when Boris Toddbringer comes in. And he is surrounded by great swords, so it's not entirely the best situation for him. You can see me tossing some uh, handgunners. And now that they're all turned... Ooh, the foot of Gork. So good. Um, now that they're no longer fighting, he's going to or no longer capable of like shooting his troops on the approach. The Black Orcs are going to come in. Um, but you can see Leon Leon Kerr is getting swarmed, which is not good. Those Demigriffs are doing a number on him. And so I'm going to be bringing uh, some of these Pegasus Knights back into the fight, hopefully, to try and save Leon Leon Kerr, because this is not looking too good at the moment. Um, you can see these Demigriff Knights, another net coming down, which is not good, um, but can see the morale of Leon Lancur, very low, uh, but his health still reasonably high, and he still has health to regen as this glitchy net keeps happening. Man, these goblin archers just keep coming back. Um, but you can see I'm getting nice rear charges on all these clumps of cheap infantry with my Knights of the Realm and stuff, and so I'm, we're going to be decisively winning this if I'm just able to micro, pull in and out over here, and you can see these guys are going to come out and try and silence these archers once and for all. Um, but you can see now Leon Lancard does rout, um, and he's running off the field, but there is a ton of greenskins incoming, and they're going to get a really nice charge in there, which is good. You can see Knights of the Realm silencing these guys. These um, I, start, I just delayed these swordsmen a bit, and you can see these swordsmen are routing those Knights of the Realm in there. You can see Leon Lancard does come back, um, and we've done decent damage to one of those Pegasus, those halberds, Demigraph Knights with halberds. Um, but the other one seems to be pretty good health. It's the one that was chasing the spider off the map. My Pegasus Knights are actually going to be chasing this Light Wizard. Trying to get him, but he's just so sneaky. I don't manage to uh, succeed too much. You can see Leon Linker just trying to keep him in non-dangerous situations. As this main fight just does its thing. Knights Errant are going to charge into the back of this line. Do a ton of damage. Um, and just hit, hurt their morale. You can see... Um, that charge in the back penalty is big, and it is going to break those Whirlage boys along with the Terror. Um, you can see uh, definitely a mistake here, letting these guys be caught up on Swordsmen. Not the best target. Really need to bring them in here to help finish off these Demigriffs, who have um, been basically taken off the field. They both are very low health. Eight models here, eight models here. So doing a good job. And now it's really just Boris and some Swordsmen. And as these Swordsmen come in, I'm just going to keep harassing them with this charge of these Knights. Knights of the Realm, I guess. Oh, um, what a disappointing charge. Just speared that halberd, though. <laughs> um, you can see, just the cycle charging is going to be the end of it, and Boris is going to route with almost full health. As my Pegasus Knights clean up some of those crossbowmen that came back. And, um, yeah, now it's just the Knights, the uh, eight peak loonies. So we'll just, we'll just fast forward here. Because it takes forever to kill these guys. Um, but you can see, yeah, that it, just an interesting 2v2 matchup there um, with Bretonia as the all-cav portion. Uh, basically functioning as one large army. And you can see here, I did not do a very good job <laughs> of microing these troops. Um, poor 1,600 gold unit getting 34 kills is decently embarrassing. Um, but this knight, Aarons, did really well. The Pegasus Knights definitely pulled their weight, and this Knights of the Realm here did pretty well. Um, but these two definitely, I mean, these three definitely did not do their job. Um, and the only encouraged taking a bunch of focus fire there um, and allowing Marcus Gein to uh, get his troops into combat without that deadly firing line opening up on them. Um, you can see he did get a good amount of kills, especially with the spider and the artillery. Um, but his firing line didn't do too much. There wasn't really any good targets for it. Um, and you can see these black works both doing pretty well. And one of these big ends doing pretty well. Um, you can see all the uh, green, other green skins artillery did even better. And look at these black orcs. One kill, three kills, three kills. Those are 1,100 gold units. 
that we just like shut down. So um, definitely so good when you can just focus one side of the battle. Um, you can do a lot of good work um, and really turn the tide in your favor. Um, these goblins being annoying throughout the battle, um, and you can see here these demigriffs just not actually doing too well. Um, neither of these great swords. Um, he just kind of had a hard time turning to fight in that weird formation um, with my cavalry coming in at all odd angles. Um, it definitely makes it hard, um, and that's why it can be very, really helpful to hard group your units so that you can um, so you don't have to worry. You can just kind of press one, click on them with alt, and drag them across the map in the same formation um, that you usually had, um, and that can just be really helpful here. Um, yeah, anyways, there will be a second one of these games I'll be posting up um, with the split up army. I'll probably post tomorrow um, or the day after this one is posted. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and that's that.